Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Welcome guys to my new episode of Vincenzo's Plate and today we are making pumpkin rice balls. Oh yes, you can call them arancini or suppli, depends on uh, what you prefer. Um, make sure you watch the video up here to learn how to make the pumpkin risotto and from that, once you make the risotto, we can make this beautiful, amazing pumpkin rice balls. So the ingredients that we need is very simple, um, just three eggs, some breadcrumbs, we need of course the risotto, a nice bowl of water, and then we need provolone cheese cut into cubes and mozzarella. Make sure you buy the fresh mozzarella, don't buy the shredded one or those ones in the packet, buy the fresh one and cut it yourself because you can trust it. The shredded one is artificial, I'll tell you now guys, don't trust that. Now, so basically this rice was made the day before, so um, because you've got leftover, you can't waste it. So you're gonna make this beautiful rice bowl. So now, beat the eggs quickly. That's good. Depends on how many you make. You might need more eggs, but three should be enough for now. Now, what you wanna do, you always wanna have water next to you because your hands need to be nice and wet. Because now, we wanna get the cheese, I'm sorry, <laughs> the rice. So we want to do this, you put it on your hand and you make a hole. You make a nice hole like that. And you want to put the cheese inside. A little bit of uh, you know, mozzarella and a little bit of provolone. If you don't want to use provolone, don't use provolone. I just love provolone, so I like to put it in anything. Now, see, you got that close. You wet your hand a little bit. You get a little bit more rice and you create a bowl. That's what you do. I said, make sure the hands are nice and wet. Look at that. Look at that. Close it a little bit. And here we have a rice bowl. Look. Fantastic rice bowl. Now, we want to pass the rice bowl first in the egg. Just like that. And then from the egg, you're gonna put it in the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's fresh breadcrumbs. Don't buy the one from the pocket. Go to your baker and ask for breadcrumbs. There. And now all we have to do is to fry it. Put it on the side. Let's make another one. Now guys, we are ready to fry those beautiful arancini or suppli. If you come from Sicily, you call them arancini. If you come from other parts of Italy, you call them suppli. That's how they're called in Rome or in Abruzzo. Now, you need vegetable oil. Uh, the temperature should be 130, 150 degrees. So first, let's test the first one. It should cook for about maybe two minutes, but you see how you go. You know, you want to turn them around every now and then. See this? Look how beautiful it is. This means that it's ready to be served. Look at the pancetta there, nice and crispy. Now let's cook the other three and then we have it. Now make sure that you cook them uh, very well. Could be two, three, four, five minutes, it depends. But the way you taste if it's cooked, it's when you open it. So come and have a look. Ah, oh, let's open this beautiful, oh, piece of art. Look at that, look at the cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is heaven if you love cheese. Heaven in my hands, heaven in my mouth. <sighs> mm. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Vincenzo's Plate. Make sure you get the recipe here underneath the video and in the description below. We'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia pumpkin risotto rice balls. See you.